Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler V series videos I've been doing for the Wanag over there. Trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. This is review number five for me today in a row. So, yeah, I'm getting a little bit wacky. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yam around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks... Yeah, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it's pretty evident, but boom, it is my Cold Chamber shirt. Which, if you are unfamiliar with the excellent band, Cold Chamber, uh, they have been around since the early 90s. And they were basically one of the very first new metal bands. Uh, you know, at the time I'm doing this in 2024, there's been something of a new metal resurgence in the last few years. Of course, new metal, it's, you know, kind of a subgenre of the metal genre. Although some metal heads would disagree with that statement. Do as you do. Uh, but it was the era that I came up in, you know, again with Korn, you had Slipknot, uh, System of a Down, obviously the really big ones. Cold Chamber never quite got to that upper echelon, but we're always kind of like just slightly below it. You know, and when I finally started really getting into them, I found that I really liked their stuff. So much so that I've actually seen them perform live twice. And the last time I got to see them perform was last uh, last year in 2023. And I went over there. I liked it so much. I got some videos of their performance, which I've uploaded to my channel as well. I have an entire playlist of just concert videos I've attended. In case you want to check it out. But anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? What are we doing here? Well, like I said, this is like my fifth review in a row because... I've been kind of slagging off on my reviews. I actually still had a huge stockpile and everything, but like I could feel I could feel my my gain slipping a little bit. So I was like, all right, let's just go do a bunch in a row. So it happens to be boom! It is XL Red Cream Pure Cane Sugar Soda since 1936, apparently. Can we get a thing for the thing? Ha 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 ha! Sure. I like cream soda. I like cream soda a lot. I got this, uh, I was at a place in Chicago, and they had it available. I've never heard of Excel, despite being around since 1936. Um, does it say where they're from? Oh, apparently it's from Breezy, Illinois. I'm going to go, Breeze? Breezy? I don't know. Uh, so I guess maybe this is like an Illinois thing. If I'm going to do a little research on this, if this does turn out to be an Illinois thing, then this will end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist which is a playlist for just highlighting, like, Illinois kind of local stuff. I don't know if this is, like, a thing or... But... So let's go ahead, open it up. By the way, I did a uh, cream soda special video. In fact, I did a series of them. Go watch those reviews. I reviewed, like, 30 cream sodas or some shit. Nearly died. Go watch those videos. Make it worth it. <laughs> so let's open it up. I like a red cream soda. Yeah, that smells like a red cream soda. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. thing with red cream sodas, and I mean, you know, it varies to some extent, but typically, when I think red cream soda, the one that I immediately think of is Big Red. Uh, I love me some Big Red soda. I'm pissed off because the Speedway that's close to my house used to have Big Red. But then 7-Eleven bought out Speedway, and now I don't get Big Red anymore. And it really annoys the hell out of me. So pretty much whenever I run into it, I pick it up. But Big Red is like the most famous one that I'm kind of familiar with. Uh, they tend to have kind of a bubblegum flavor to it. You know, like a bubblegum soda kind of flavor. So this has that a little bit. But it's probably, out of the ones that I've had, and I don't have a huge lexicon to draw from, but out of the ones that I've had... I honestly think that this one has, like, the least of that that I've tasted and kind of still puts the emphasis more on the cream soda instead of that somewhat bubblegum flavor. That's, yeah. Because there is a little bit of a hit of it, kind of at the beginning. 
and then it fades out more into just, you know, a decent, you know, nice enough cream soda. And then at the very tail end, you get a little bit, again, of that uh, kind of bubblegummy flavor. I really like this. It's actually really, yeah, it's, I like it. It's got personality, you know? And I mentioned that, I use that term in some of my reviews, and it's like, what I mean by that is, you know, it, it has a uniqueness to it. You know, there's something setting it apart. And the cream soda aspect itself is solid. It's not... I wouldn't count it as being an amazing cream soda for kind of what I want out of a cream soda. But it's good. Has a little bit of an interesting taste kind of in the middle. I don't know 100% that I'm huge into... But it's not overly prominent. It kind of fades out relatively quickly. It almost seems like it's kind of like a, a midpoint between where the bubblegum soda kind of begins and the cream soda, or where the bubblegum soda ends and the cream soda kind of hits. There's almost like this transitional flavor that I'm not, it's, you know, it's not horrible, but it's there and it's, yeah. I like it. Like, overall, like, despite some minor criticisms, I genuinely like it. I like what it's doing. I think that, like I said, it's got personality, and I think the elements that are there are nice. Uh, you know, compared to something like Big Red, which is just such a hit, you know, and it's so sweet. Like, again, I really like Big Red, but this is nice to have as, you know, kind of a, a little bit more subdued alternative, but at the same time, still flavorful you know, still doing nice things. It's just, like I said, it's a little bit more subdued in kind of the things it's trying to do. I like it. And honestly, the more I drink it, the more I'm actually enjoying it. The more I'm kind of enjoying that cream soda flavor that they've got going. Again, it's not like a top-tier cream soda, but it's a good cream soda. Anyway. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with yes occasionally and sure. Here's what I mean. For me personally, like this would... I mean, part of the question is do I like it more than Big Red? They're so different in their approach to the same product. It's honestly hard to give them a one-to-one. -one. But I think for me personally... This is probably a little bit easier to drink than Big Red, because, again, Big Red is just so much. But I do think that, yeah, I still prefer Big Red a little bit over this, but I do like it as a red cream soda. And I like that it's got personality. I can appreciate what it's doing. You know, certain things I don't feel like it quite hits the way I would like it to, but overall it is good. It's one of those things where if I saw it, just like on, you know, a shelf every now and again, I'd pick it up every now and again. But it wouldn't be my go-to red cream soda. And yeah, you know, I think for me, Big Red is still probably my personal favorite as far as that's concerned. But I do like it overall. So I would definitely get it, at least on occasion. And if I'm recommending it, I mean, it depends on what you're expecting, what you want. Uh, you know, if you're like me where you're used to Big Red... It could be kind of a pro or a con for you, because if that's what you really want out of a red cream soda, where you want that really heavy flavor, this doesn't quite deliver on it. But conversely, maybe you like the idea of a red cream soda, but maybe that's a bit much. This could be that nice alternative. You know, it could be that thing where it's like, okay, yeah, it's a little bit more. And I think if you're somebody who just enjoys a cream soda, give it a shot. Genuinely, I think that it's got some nice cream soda aspects to it. And I like, like I said, I like the way that they implemented the, uh, that somewhat bubblegummy taste. Like, I think that's really kind of cool. So. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. Folks, you go over there and have yourselves a truly cream soda-tastic rest of your life. Again, go watch my cream soda reviews. <laughs> so much cream soda was consumed. And it was so, I was drinking cream soda for like two weeks. And by the end of that fucking review, that's why after that I was like, if I do a soda special again, or any kind of special again where I'm doing a lot of stuff, I'm limiting it 
keeping it to a more reasonable level. Because <laughs> that one, by the end of that, I was like... <laughs> well, two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity to your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful, frustrating, and just bullshit sometimes. And when we're forced to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there, at least try. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you know way more about red cream soda than I do. That's entirely possible. Maybe you go over there, maybe you toss me out a few suggestions. Be like, well, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And I'll go over there, and I'll try to get a hold of them. You know, we'll see what happens. You know, sometimes I, I try to get a hold of stuff, but it really does depend. I, I got other ones I got to do now that I'm thinking about it. I ain't doing them today, but I do have other ones that I need to get to. Uh, but yeah, like, I would love to, you know, do you have experience with Big Red? They have other stuff, too. Like, up here in Illinois, all you ever get is Big Red. Maybe if you go a little bit to like kind of like down uh, like southern Illinois, I have seen uh, their big blue soda, which I haven't tried, which pisses me off. They also have a big pineapple soda, which I might happen to have one of those in my fridge that I'm waiting to do a special review on. But anyway, uh, but no, if you know, and maybe you prefer a different type of cream soda or maybe you don't like cream soda at all. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye.